welcome back to Bard to Tell 3. This is Jay Rodman and today we're going, we, we've just finished Galidia and uh, we're going to make our first foray into Lucenia, which some people might say Lucenia. It's just L-U-C-E-N-I-A and I imagine it as some sort of northern Italian countryside and I call it Lucenia. I don't know, there's no canonical pronunciation as far as I can tell. Um, so I'm starting just south of the um, refugee camp, and just for fun, I don't know, for fun, whatever, to get a sense of location, I'm going to uh, wander over to the Crystal Springs. And, and get into an unexpected fight with a entirely non-threatening enemy. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is the Go Away song. I might naturally call it something a little more crass. The F blank 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 off song. Anyway, uh, so here you're at the spring. Amid the bountiful trees, you find a bubbling spring that almost glows with purity. I mean, this sounds welcoming, right? Unless it's going to be a good world, a friendly one, no, no dying of freezing. At least, at least that's what I'm hoping for. Uh, and copy protection. Wh where is this window? Oh, here you are. Shoop. Copy protection. We have. Uh, let me resize this to be not covering everything up. Uh, Unterbray. That's familiar. The Festering Pit? Oh, we've been there. And Acorns. These are all familiar. Oh, it's a four... A four-part thing? Almost never works. Zero, seven, seven, zero, one. Yep, didn't work. Let's try again. Malifia. That's a location I know from the map of the overworld. Solaria Bree. Or no, not the map, the, whatever. The packaging the game came with listed the worlds, and that's one of them. I think Malifia may be the last one. Um, and Rainbow Rose. The three-part thing seems to always be correct. So one, two, four, four. And here we are in a spot that's well-worn. Copy this. Well, I'm just whatever. Create a new region uh, from the ice dungeon. Hopefully, I'll inherit the th pale lines. Lucinia. And there's an entrance to a city somewhere. So I'm gonna start with that. And we're. Five north of it and one west, so... One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, whatever. I don't know, I have no idea how big the world's gonna be yet. So I guess I'm going a little overboard with these positions. But I can say that the the uh, teleport spot and the city entrance are correct relative to each other. I think that 
And so look, it's going to be a, uh, a world of trees. And I think that these are here. And that these are here. Is this right? Let's try stepping south. One. Yeah, so that was the right distance. And we can see a building to the south through the trees. Uh, should I go there? Or should I not go there? I don't know. I feel like... I kind of want to know what's out in the world before I go, oops, exploring the city. Okay, so if we go one more north, we are six south, so I, I guess I accidentally got this boundary right. We go from five north to six south, which means a 12 by 12 world, isn't that? Is that the same size as the other worlds were? I forget. Galidia was... larger. Um, 16 by 16. I guess worlds can be different sizes. They're all pretty small, though. Okay, uh, so... Uh, setup, grid... Set this to 12 by 12 for now. facing I'm facing a red mage herbs herbs I guess they're guys or they're herbs um and a filters somehow filters makes me think they're gonna steal my stuff let's try pulling in the red mage and an anti-magic. Well, the pull didn't work. Now, what I remember as being the problem with herbs in Bard Cell 2 is they would just summon more of themselves. Uh, but I guess that's not a big problem here because I can cast Preclusion and then they won't be able to do that. Yeah, they are one summoned another. Yep, preclusion was enough to prevent their infinite summoning. Oh, they look very friendly. Look at that. So appealing. <laughs> oh, dear.
Do they do anything besides summon more of themselves? I missed. Okay, in that case I'm just going to advance. I'm so sad to no longer have that face on my screen. I, I'm, I'm missing it already. Found the book. Found the book. The book. And an un unnamed item. Soothing Balm. I don't know what that does. I, Chantrell's inventory is full? Was it full of? A uh, harmonic gem. And I guess just a bunch of stuff I haven't cleaned up. Well, we got the boots are relatively new. I still can't believe I haven't replaced these leather gloves. Uh, I should Probably. I don't. I don't know. Do I need this death drum? I'm ever gonna use it. Maybe I'll use it. Okay. I had one east. Oop. And there's a tree to put down. I still lack the idea of a shrub, so I'm just going to use a very green tree to represent this shrub. There is a rose bush here. Do you want to pick a rose? Yes. Lillian has a yellow rose. Oh, I don't want, I don't want yellow rose to be written in green. Okay, uh, no, I already have one of those roses. This feels so similar to Arborea. like a building over here something like that uh red mage red mage unbelievers speed demons oh, is that a phrase that's gone away speed demon we used to say that i don't think i've heard it in a long time bard song yeah uh healing song hide Defend, defend, anti, cast anti magic. What an unbeliever does. Maybe it destroys illusions.
I don't think I have any... No, I do have 90-foot spells. Uh, I have Mangar's Mallet. Lillian has it. I don't feel inspired to use it, though. On two enemies? They sure have a lot of r random guy casting spell animations. Huh. Four West. Five West is allowed. says you are in a decrepit tower. I'm going to call it tower. That's all I'm calling it for now. I know it's decrepit, but there's only one. I don't need to put long words on the map. Six west. And a bush of some kind. Let's get this color and I'll pick a rose. Oh. Alina got a red rose. seeing a theme here. Seven West. How far is, how far am I gonna go before you wrap around? Eight West is allowed. Um, I'm here. Yeah, I definitely am here. To the direct north, there is a tree. Tree to the left, one back. Nine west. Ten. Do we go ten west? 
No, Nine West is the furthest extent. Okay, uh, and... Two East is the furthest extent east, so... If I bump here, does it work out? Yes. It seems that it works out. Is this actually square? It's square, I just... I don't know, whatever. Okay, so... I just wrapped around... So... this group of trees juts out one? Is that right? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna drop this wraparound tree. Uh, but I'm gonna start putting down some other wraparound trees for reference. This one, oh, excuse me, I would like the tree icon. There we go. And up here. And these two. That's how we got so far. Uh, and it's time to move these markers. This marker can go away. I guess I'll put a forward. Oof. It's hard to read behind the tree. Um. Similarly, at the bottom. Yes, I, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put one down near the six. It's okay. They can be near each other. Eight seven six five zero two. And this one's easier. Huh, more monster pictures that are not reused. I was expecting to see mostly reused by now. Uh, a Maze Fury, Red Mage, Red Mage, Unbeliever. So the other things I fought before, and they're kind of a pain in the butt pulling them. They cost too many spell points. I'm going to skip this fight. At this point, I'm starting to try hitting through every tree. I'm, I'm, I'm getting paranoid about assuming that the trees are impassable. I don't think I'm going to go as far as hitting through every side of every tree. Not yet. Crazy Eddie, Maze Furies, Red Dragon, Two Unbelievers. Okay, I think that 
the dragon is sort of the priority, so I'm having both my fighters try to attack it. Uh, and I'm going to try to pull it into range to be stoned. Meanwhile, Master Wand on the 24 Maze Furies. Perhaps I should have lowered my armor class. I'm not really sure what the biggest threat was. I guess the Maze Furies were a bigger threat than I thought. I thought 24 of them, they can't be a, they can't be that bad individually. If they're gonna give me 24 of them. So I just used the one Master Wand usage on them, which looks like it's not enough to kill any of them. It's the right idea, I think. Ooh, the Maze Furies can craze. Uh, or to ma drive them insane. Uh, a character who's insane written nuts so it can fit into the column. Um, attacks a... Or does takes an action at random out of my control the next round. Strangely, during the round that they're driven crazy... They do what I already told them to do. Uh, Elena, who's what's the priority here? Um, I don't know. I'm going to have her attack the Crazy Eddie. Okay, so Elendor can use a Wither Fist on the M Maze Furies. Griselda is going to use Invisibility to reduce the number of times we get hit, and I'm going to use Restoration to try to get control of my party again. So, all the insanity is removed for now. Oh, and a Wither Fist on top of the Night Lance from the Wand is not enough to kill any of them. I don't know how um, insane party members choose their target. Like, do they choose a random target of all possible targets? Because if so, then having an insane party member fighting 500 monsters in melee range is not a big deal. They'll kill one of them. Whereas fighting one enemy might... I mean, these just don't seem to attack my own party members very often. You've crazed Elena twice now. Three times. I'm going to use the armor song to hopefully reduce the number of times I'm getting afflicted. Wither Fist again. Um, invisibility again. I don't know if it stacks, but I'm going to give it a shot. And more restoration.
Okay, they're starting to die now. Uh, well, a few of them are dead. I'll go that far. I was hoping for more of them to die. Uh, I don't know. Somehow I thought I would be able to kill them off more easily. I um, Yesterday did a little bit of grinding in Arborea, hoping to find a conjure staff. I didn't. And I got tired of it pretty quickly. But the the general flow was, oh, there's a big group. I'll cast a big spell on it and they'll all die. And I was sort of, I don't know, assuming that would happen again here, which doesn't make sense. It's two worlds later and things are stronger. We got them down to 16. I'm starting to feel like I want to go to town and see if they have any new tools for me. They could have new spells to sell me? I'm just sort of... This just feels... Too, I feel too weak. Maybe I just need to cast my spells more. And they're not doing very much damage to me, that's for sure. Seven. What am I doing that for? Attack, attack. Uh, Multi-attack. Hide. Wither Fist. Knight Lance. Master Wand. If I had a source of uh, infinite mana regen, like um, Roscoe's in Bard's Tale 1 or 2, I would just be using my strongest spells every round. But as it is, I'm like, well, if I do that, I'm going to run out of spell points. So I'm trying to be more efficient. I don't think I have a good ability to... Minstrel's Glove. I don't think I have a good ability to... You know... Take the middle road. I'm not very good at that. It's hoard all the time, or... Go all out all the time. So a bard can equip a minstrel's glove, and it's probably better than the leather gloves. So AC 31 to 37, I would say that's better. It's still weird that my bard has the best armor class. She just keeps finding the special items. Okay, uh, we are three north, is that right? Yep. 
I'm in the right spot. Uh, there are trees on the wraparound. Whoop. Is that right? Oh, it is right. It's just so confusing because the way that things look on the side in the overworld is totally different from the way they look in the dungeon. In the dungeon, you can't see walls that are next to you on the side, and in the overworld, you can, and it throws me off. Anyway, um, let's go west. One... did, I just again got confused about the way that walls look outside. No big deal. Okay, and in front there's a tree to the right and the left and in front and in the middle is a bush. This rose bush doesn't seem to have any roses. I meant to say search. I was thinking there was a search, and it said it did save. But saving is fine. Saving is a good thing to do. Uh, no roses. Something tells me we have to fix this rose bush. I feel like this should, the entrance should be considered to be here and not here, but whatever. Let's go into town. Oop. Am I in town? I am. So this is like even more foresty themed than Arborea in a way, because their city is a forest also. important stuff likely to be in Solaria Bree. So this row of tree, this clump of trees is too thick and this one is one one thick. Yeah, I can see, so to the right I can see the wall I'm next to in front of me, but to the left I can't see the tree I'm next to. This is some weird perspective stuff. One, I, I'm one 
east, right? So this is okay, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, if I head east, I'm not gonna map this uh, for every step, I'm gonna just step until things change. One, two, this is working, right? Three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Hard to double check quickly because I haven't put down any coordinates yet. One, two, three, four, five. That's the wrong spot here. Okay, and to the north, we had trees all along until some kind of building. Just put down T for temple. Uh, I don't actually need any of those services. One, two, three, four, five, six is the end of the trees. One, two, three, five, six. This place is kind of big. Okay. Uh, where's our coordinates going? 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. Thirteen six south, thirteen east. And looking in front of us, it looks like there's one more position. So maybe it's a fifteen by fifteen town. accessible from either side, so I'm going to do alternating rows for now. That is not what I meant to do. So we've reached this position, and we can see walls to there and a tree here. I think we actually only can see this wall and not this wall, but I'm not worrying about it for now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Eight, nine. Yep, it's 
that's where that's where I thought it we were. And I can see the two trees beyond this, so we have a nice consistency in our in our expected civic design. where we can get trained. Oh, Lady Oakshield levels up. Intelligence, which she will never use as a paladin. Elendor isn't far. Wait, Elendor and Griselda have the same... Oh, right, because I, I set them... No, I think they never even died. They're legitimately the same level. But whatever, I rewound them to the same number when fixing their experience points. Um, they're both going to get to level up soon. Does that mean Griselda is level 13? No. Huh, I wonder if I made a mistake. No, I set their experience points to just... Oh. Elendor and Griselda are the same level. That makes sense. I was think, thinking Lily and Dewspray. Anyway, they both hit their maximum uh, spell level soon. Okay, they don't have... Oh, buy a new spell. Buy a new spell. That sounds good. Divine Intervention. Is this documented? Is this in the manual? Manual. Manual. Intervention. Okay, it's in the manual. And let's. Oop, I I tried to make it bigger and I lost lost my place. Okay, divine intervention. All foes and party. It's the target. Cost 250 mana. <laughs> okay. It earns its name by doing the following. Turns illusionary characters into real characters. I don't think that's going to affect me much, but it's interesting. Cures characters of all illnesses but age. I wonder if that includes stone and death. Um, restores all hit points to the party. Okay, those are reasonable things. If you're in combat, it also, so I guess it does those three things, and also lowers your armor class saving through to hit and damage by 20 points. Assume, or presumably, it means improves your armor class saving through to hit and damage. Um, I think your armor class and hit are the same number, and suspicious saving throw may be the same number. Damage is definitely a different number. Anyway, um, 20 points better. Increases your attack by 8 points. Um, number of attacks, maybe? And casts Mangar's Mallet. So it's a Mangar's Mallet that heals everyone and increases chances. It's basically the dream spell. Now that I'm reading this part of the manual, I'm pretty interested in this spell. 2,000 points to all enemies. I, I'm, I'm looking forward to that. Okay, anyway, everyone's going to learn Divine Intervention because why not? I have money. And by everyone, I mean Elendor, Griselda, and Lily and Dusprey, the people who can actually cast spells. You know, we could try. Buy a spell for Grisnok, and it says, no, you don't cast spells. Screw off. Uh, it feels good to have those spells, but um, I don't think we're going to use them that much. 250 spell points? That's, we can cast that once, and then we're done. Well, done casting that spell for sure. Elendor has the most spell points, and she's at like 480. Maybe eventually she'll be able to cast two. Anyway, um, let's go down this hallway. 
freeway. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Uh, I'm starting to suspect there's no encounters in this town. And if there aren't any, might as well do Rhyme of Duotine and get some spell points back. We got a two for one special on buildings. Maybe there'll be some good ones. Oh, wait. I'm at seven? I mismapped this. More, something more like that, roughly. our barkeep in other dimensions. To the south, you see the Bard's Hall. Hmm, that sounds significant. You can listen to the bard or exit the hall. I'm going to choose to listen to the bard. Okay, the dragon song. Dragon, dragon, where do you... Oh, this is probably supposed to be singing, but I am not going to sing it. Anyway, dragon, dragon, why do you lair? Unfurl your wings, take to the air, soar high above. Far away fly, or is that where you wish to die? Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer, why do you ask? Oh, this is a conversation. The dragon is 
Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer, why do you ask? Killing me is a difficult task. My claws are sharp, my fangs sharper yet, and my breath flames let us not forget. Dragon, dragon, thou art quite strong. Your scales are bright and talons are long. But a duty I have, and it is clear. Whatever it takes, I will drive you from here. Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer, such a brief life. Have you no wish again? Have you no wish to again see your wife? Imagine her tears and grief and despair. Walk away from this fight. You have not a prayer. They're, they're like trying to win the fight by boasting. Dragon, dragon, how wise thou art. A massive beast with such a kind heart. If I do wish to kiss my wife and my heir, pray, fly to the mountains and await me there. Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer, I thought you were brave. Here I await you, deep in this cave. Come, little man, and I'll eat your brain. Then ravage Lucincia again and again. That's a typo in the name of the place we're in. <laughs> dragon, dragon, great is your heart. Massive your body, but you are not smart. The rumble you hear and the dust in the air. I've closed the cave off and trapped you in there. Hawkslayer, Hawkslayer, others will come. I will wait, I will not succumb. Hero you are, and incredibly sly. But the future I know, and a hero you'll die. Okay, so I guess we found out that Hawkslayer, at least in Legends, knows how to win an encounter the smart way. If the story's true, there's a collapsed cavern or similar lying around here with a angry dragon <laughs> um, trapped in it. <laughs> okay, we got other songs. Um, he was... So this is the... F wait, I'm going to go through it again and see the name of it. Listen, Flower Ballad. He was born with the red, red rose, a sign of his blood was the link to the past. In battle he won the blue blue rose. Blossom of his valor, his weapons were cast. She was for him the yellow yellow rose. Her spirit divine, her love would always last. His pledge he made o'er the white white rose, and she accepted it as sooth and remained his steadfast. So he made for her the rainbow rose, like Illyria's beauty, a blossom unsurpassed. Somehow I think this is a thing... Whoa. No, I don't, I don't need... No. I, no. Remind, go away. Okay, so... Uh, Let's bring up the notes for this game instead of like irrelevant source code. Uh, notes, B games, BT3. No, not not my character editing notes. <laughs> there we go. Uh, so. Incidentally, we got the items from Lenatir's tomb by solving the black tower, and we got the wards, and we got the wand and the sphere. And now we are to get. I I saw the names of the items in when I was doing the the um editing of the older playthroughs, and I've forgotten them again now. But whatever, we're gonna say get items. Uh, and I'm pretty sure this is a clue. Or these are clues. There's like a something dragon stuck in cave. I'm pretty sure we're going to have to kill that guy or something like that. 
the flower rainbow rose somehow I think this is just telling us what to do it's telling us uh, red blood I think it's like an order blue valor yellow I I don't know this may not have a noun. The the nouns may be irrelevant. Um, white pledge. Okay. Kills overture. That one will cost thee for your bards will learn the magic of my song. I, uh, I guess their bard will play. Bard plays the song and you memorize the lines. Okay, going back to... So, there's two songs we can find out in the world, and one of them is Kiel's Overture, and the other one is Minstrel Shield. Uh, so we don't still don't have Minstrel Shield, we just got Kiel's Overture. And... It makes a compass. Um, that could be really good if I was in a spot where I can play bard songs but can't cast spells. So that might come up. But I think this is going to come up a lot more, which is I can do the trebuchet spell, or trebuchet, however you say that. I don't know if it's been anglicized. Uh, that hits everyone. Okay, I foresee... Oops, I didn't mean to do close the browser entirely. Well, I'll deal with that later. Restore all tabs. Whoop! There we go. Okay. So... Uh, I think that that's everything in town. Without going through the process of trying to kick in every single tree, we've pretty much been everywhere. I guess not this row, so I can go down and do that. So Divine Intervention, I think we're not going to be casting much, certainly not anytime soon. Um, but Keel's Overture, we may be casting quite a lot because we're singing it. It's a free, pretty strong nuke. Uh, while I'm here, let's finish the coordinates. One, two, three, four. Five and seven. Okay. And this is uh Celaria Bree.
Okay, so we need four roses. This doesn't seem like a rainbow to me, but I guess, you know, purple roses and orange roses may be hard to come by. I have a yellow rose. Well, I guess I could look at a map. Um, we have a yellow rose and a red rose. So we're missing uh, a white rose. Why can I please please let me move this? Okay, we're missing a white rose and a blue. to be putting down the gray tree hints. And equivalently, put down the real copies over there. building through the trees. It's just standing right here, so the building is here-ish. One red eye. I feel like I'm gonna regret this, but I'm just gonna uh, go ahead and attack it. Did 91 damage, that's not nice, but... If the red rose was missing from the available set, I would suspect that um, we had to water it with the no rose bush with the blood. I don't know, it just seems seems likely somehow to me. the Crazy Eddie um, name is from the uh, New York area, New Jersey area, Crazy Eddie electronics store. I, I didn't think that they would have reached California in syndication, which uh, is where Interplay was located, but I don't know, maybe some of the staff moved?
there was a series of there was a discount um electronics retailer or electronics goods like I don't remember they sold oh I'd have to look it up but but like random like like electronic crap in the eighties probably um computery things but computers were kind of new and they had some ridiculous spiel their their stick on the TV was to just kind of like yell the names of the products and their prices really fast like a um, auctioneer might do and then insist that their prices were insane and that's why they were crazy Eddie So I pulled it into fighting range and he pushed me out again. That is kind of annoying. He really can't decide how cl far close he wants to be. He's he like advanced 40 feet and then cast a spell to push me away right afterwards. You don't seem to be able to hit him. How about death drums? I'm trying to remember if the whole idea of red, white, and black mages existed before Dragonlance. But I suppose um, Dragonlance had certainly permeated the minds of fantasy readers by 1988. Ooh, a mage's cloak. I wonder what that does. Does it replace the adamantite bracers? Uh, yes, and it's worse for armor purposes. Clear what it did. Figure it out later. Okay, no, I don't need another crazy Eddie fight right now. of some kind. Red mage, red eye, unbelievers. Okay, I'm going to attack the eye. Flute of healing, hide. 
I've been forgetting to use my new song. Keel's Overture. Seems, it seems kind of strong for something I can do for free every turn. Okay, let's check a rose bush, yes. Blue rose. So we're missing white. And what is this building anyway? Uh, this is a tomb. I made a note rather than a label. Presumably Illyria's tomb. Because I don't know. Last tomb last two two tombs have been for the hero we came looking for. So that's my logic is this tomb must be for the hero we came looking for again. That's the no roses bush that we can see to the north. Oop. I think I can see another bush. Okay, so I have actually the, all four colors mentioned in the song, unless the rainbow rose isn't, is like separately collected. Like it said it made the rainbow rose, but do you make the rainbow rose by combining these or do you make the rose by making the rainbow rose bush 
work. probably should be calling this episode, but I'm just gonna... I, I feel moved to finish this world map. Majestic Violet Mountain. You can feel the dragon's presence from here. Okay, so here's our Here's our Violet Mountain. Did we have a clue about the Violet Mountain? We had a clue about there's said to be a key in the Violet Mountains to access Cyanus's tower. So, if that's true and this is our world, then the Violet Mountains has a key to get in this tower. Why did I put a tree in the middle of the tower? That is not I not not intended. Uh. That doesn't answer the question of, um... Do we... What, where, what order do we do... The tomb in? Is the tomb after the tower? Is it... mountain and the tower? Is it before the mountain? I don't know right now. Okay, we've officially just walked the entire outside map. Oh, no, we got these two spots.
Okay, now we've done them all. Uh, so, next time, I think I'll be checking out the tomb uh, to see if we get it anywhere in there. And um, if not, we'll probably proceed to the Violet Mountain. Violet Mountain. Anyway, that was um, the initial exploration of Lucinia. We gained some uh, strong spells, although only one of them is practical. And um, learned a way around. See you next time when we try out the tomb and, and maybe the Violet Mountain. <laughs>